Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun problem. Start with square ABCD. The square has a side length equal to 4. Construct a quarter circle centered at B that connects A and C. Then construct a semicircle with a diameter equal to AD. The quarter circle and the semicircle overlap. What is the area of the overlap between these two shapes? This problem caused quite a stir because it was shared on social media with the tagline that it was asked in a primary school in China. But even in China, this was felt to be extremely difficult for a primary school question. From what I could tell, primary school in China could mean as high as year six, which would be students aged 11 or 12. Now, I want to thank Blake who suggested this problem to me. He was saying some of his calculus students in America were having trouble solving this problem. So what's the answer? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. When you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we work this out? We will begin, like many geometry problems, by making a few constructions that will make the calculation easier. Start with the center of the quarter circle. The quarter circle has a radius that's equal to the side length of the square, which is 4. Construct a radius to the intersection point of the quarter circle with the semicircle. This radius will also have a length that's equal to 4. Then construct the center of the semicircle. The diameter of the semicircle is equal to 4, so its radius will be half of that and equal to 2. Construct a radius to the intersection point, and this length will also be 2. Now, connect the centers. From here, we are going to calculate the area of the overlap between these two shapes. It will be equal to the area of the circular sector of the semicircle, then we're going to add the area of the circular sector of the quarter circle. So now we've counted too much area. So we've counted the overlap twice, and we've also counted the areas that are outside the overlap contained in this kite. So we need to subtract out that entire area. So we need to subtract out the areas of these two right triangles. This simple equation will give us the area of the overlap. So all that remains is to calculate the areas of these shapes. Let's start with the easiest calculation, which will be the areas of the triangles. So the area of a right triangle will be equal to 1 half its base times its height. In this case, we can take 2 and 4. So this will be 1 half times 2 times 4. 1 half of 2 is equal to 1 times 4 is equal to 4. So the area of a single right triangle is equal to 4 but we have exactly two of them and they will be congruent to each other. So this right triangle will also have an area that's equal to four. The total area of two triangles will be four plus four, which equals eight. So far, so easy. Now, what's the area of a circular sector? It's equal to one half times the radius squared times theta, where the angle theta is in radians. So here comes the tricky part. We know the radius of this is equal to two, but what is the central angle equal to? We will need to use a little bit of trigonometry to calculate this. So we'll take a look at this right triangle. Now let's say that this angle is T. What is the measure of angle T? It will be equal to the arctangent of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So that's the arctangent of four over two which is equal to the arctangent of two. Now, in this right triangle, this angle is also equal to t. So the total central angle will be equal to two t. So the formula for the area of this sector will simplify to be one half times r squared times two t. Now one half times two t will simplify to be just t. So now we can just substitute it. 
So this is equal to r squared times t. The radius is equal to 2. 2 squared is equal to 4. And t is equal to arctangent of 2. So this equals 4 times the arctangent of 2. And we figure out the area of one circular sector. We just need to do the same thing for the other circular sector. So we calculate the area of this circular sector in a similar fashion. Using the same principle as before, let's take a look at this right triangle, and let's say that this angle is equal to s. We also have a congruent right triangle here, so this angle will also be equal to s. As before, the area of the circular sector will be 1 half times r squared times the central angle. In this case, the central angle is 2 times s, so the 1 half and the 2s will cancel. So the area of the circular sector will be equal to r squared times s. But what is s? We don't need to go through every calculation again because we've already calculated t. So t was equal to arctangent of 2. And since we have a right triangle, s and t are complementary angles. So s plus t will be equal to pi over 2 radians. So s is equal to pi over 2 minus t which is equal to the arctangent of 2. So we can substitute in to the formula. We have r is equal to 4, and s is equal to pi over 2 minus the arctangent of 2. So r squared will be 4 squared, which equals 16. This is multiplied by the entire group term, pi over 2 minus the arctangent of 2. We can distribute the 16. So 16 times pi over 2 will be equal to 8 pi, and then we have minus 16 times the arctangent of 2. So we get 8 pi minus 16 times the arctangent of 2. And that's the area of this other circular sector. All that remains is we need to put this all into one formula. So the area we want is 4 arctangent of 2 plus 8 pi minus 16 arctangent 2 minus 8. We can now have 4 arctangent of 2 minus 16 arctangent of 2. That simplifies to be minus 12 arctangent of 2. So the final formula is 8 pi minus 12 times the arctangent of 2 minus 8, which is approximately equal to 3.847. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.